This is the Los Angeles Art District, where the dumpsters are often more beautiful than the skyline and the figures on the sides of buildings more animated than those you see crossing the street. Here, the artist finds solace in creating his own world within a city too vast to see in its entirety. I think I'm one of those people that has a particular fondness for spirit of place. I've always gotten very attached to the places that I've lived. Who knew it would be downtown Los Angeles? For me and for a lot of people down here, it's sort of reveling in the art scene and the culture scene. And it was thrilling because you felt like you were on the cutting edge of some new raw art forms. It's not every situation where the environment lines up with the sort of ethos of the developer of the space. You can cover a lot of square footage with a spray can if you know what you're doing, as long as it's not sort of promoting a brand, you know, like that kind of stuff like is not allowed. Sort of it's commercial art versus sort of art for the sake of artistic expression. What's the difference between graffiti and street art? Well, it's simple. Graffiti is destructive, street art, constructive. And so a lot of the stuff here in the art district, a lot of it is constructive. A lot of it is meant to be something that makes a city interesting and somewhere people want to be. If you look at downtown that we have in LA not too long ago, come five o'clock, the light switch would be turned off. That, as many of you know, has been changing. And in the last two years, we've been pretty much building a city within a city. With all the development going on, you see a domino effect. I knew the Art Sisters was coming up, but I didn't know how fast and how heavy the Art Sisters was really growing. You can mourn what's gone, but if you try to fight the changes of the gentrification, you're just going to get squashed. So you try to look for opportunities in those changes to get what you can out of it to preserve what you think is worth preserving.